get, well, yeah, they're finally. All right, here. Oh, yeah, it, this looks very nice. Just wish I could get the particle effects intensity uh, a little higher. There's more particles radiating off the blade during the idle animation. I'll work with that later. Yeah, alright. I'm gonna... I'm gonna say this video... This is gonna be uh, a little backup. Uh, supporting evidence, proof, whatever you wanna call it. Behind why we should get at Master Rank 15 four extra slots for uh, mod cards to go in. And um, as far as adding a, a stance mod slot on weapons, no. I, <laughs> you can't have two stance mods on. So as far as doubling... <coughs> Excuse me. As far as doubling amount of mod slots we get at uh, whichever mastery rank the DE would see fit to put it on or spacing it out like I'm suggesting where you get uh, four extra at rank 15 and another four extra at either 20 or 25 because why not you're gonna need that extra umph to get to uh, Pretty far in the game, you know? Now, with uh, the changes, they made the status where you can go way over 100%. There's there's more that I want to do with my uh, Zaw here than just throw on massive stat chance in this one and this one and this one yeah that that's pretty mean the, it's pretty mean build as is but I want mastery rank to mean something so if it means that we've earned being more powerful then people are going to want to get there, aren't they? Now, going even further with this build, Buzzkill, Jagged Edge, um, if there's a primed variation of a, a slash damage mod card to put on, then yeah, I would go with that and the Rending Strike. And in, in addition to the stat element mods here, I would go ahead and throw on the regular status mods. Just to add even more damage to these numbers right here. And... Well, that's, that's four more right there. Five, six... Six more, or seven more, yeah, seven more right there. Uh, the three extra slash mods, the four extra stat mods. That's seven extra right there. And healing return and life strike, maybe. Enduring affliction, definitely. And I absolutely need, for the sake of sanity, to get the attack speed up to at least 1.0. So, definitely throw in a Fury or my Primed Fury. Definitely. Well, that would make 8 right there if I did the extra status and the uh, condition. With the, uh, what was it? The, the, yeah, the extra slash ones. And then the Primed Fury. Now that would that that would max out those f 
doubling of the mod slot capacity. And as far as adding an extra arcane... I'm content with not having an extra arcane at this present time. However, we'll save that. Like all of us, we should all save that discussion for later. But for right now, focusing exclusively on getting a doubling of the mod slot. Just think of the diversified builds people could make. Or the incredibly and highly focused builds people could make. Or the hybrid stat crit builds that people could make. Just think about it. But anyway, enough of me flaxing idiotic about things I know a decent amount to say I know something of. Enough flaxing on about that. Why not display this particular build in action? As slow as it will be. Okay, uh, level 60. Not paused. No invincibility. Corrupted Heavy Gunner Eximus. Realistically, I, I get to level 50, but fuck it. I hardly ever do sorties, so why even bother with That was rude. Now I want to see it against a level 100. Let, let me just check something. Okay, yeah. So 100% means every attack is proccing status. That extra 50 means that every second or third attack or every other attack basically yeah because it's 50.4 so every other attack is proccing additional status and I have um, out of the IPS slash is most prevalent 485 radiation and viral and radiation and viral is exclusively set up to fuck the grenier over. Um, I'm gonna throw in a level 100 enemy. Corrupted Heavy Gunner Eximus. Okay. Oh my god. What the fuck have I built? Okay, level 135. Oh my god! Hey, good night, sweet prince. Sess.
Well, there you have it, everyone. On equip, uh, yeah. So far, it's using the link Iquana to Rahung, Strike of the Siath, and the Grip called Stung. Or Stung. Yeah, take that, lazy people who want to say 1, 2, and 3 all the time when it comes to Zaws and Amps and Kit Guns. Get rickety rickety wrecked, motherfuckers. Oh my god, I've made something mean. Hey, Steve, um, get you and your magical crotch and gear, and for Mastery Rank 15, make sure everyone has four more mod card slots on their weapons, uh, frames, arc wings, etc. On everything. Four more mod card slots. Want to know why? Because memes all, that's why. Get your magical crotch and gear and get to work, man. Jeez. Okay, the, the, the build once again. Here you go. I'll just go through this. For those of you who want to copy and paste. This. And the, here you go. This one. <laughs> Duration can refresh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, every other hit I'm doing um, far more damage. Far more damage than a corrupted gunner heavy Eximus could tolerate. And that's not even using the sacrificial ones. But, you know, we don't have a sacrificial one that increases uh, um, status. Damn! My coronavirus be kicking! Uh, it's got a catalyst and no former. So, one space potato and you know, after I put it together and I went to guild it I think I put either the Y here or the dash there. Uh, either way, yeah, it's it doesn't have any forma on it. Uh, have fun, everybody! Uh, enjoy your coronavirus, Zal, courtesy of me, Katana, the Lightning Cat, your favorite idiot. God damn! The coronavirus is far more powerful than anyone could have anticipated. Especially me, it's creator. You heard it here first. Well, till next time. Feel free to fuck right off.